Deputy Mayor of London. I arrived in London at the age of 24 as well, but uh, that was in 1968. And moreover, I didn't come from a warm climate. I came from the frozen north of Scotland. And when you hear me speak, I speak English with a strong Scottish accent, so I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Perhaps I should have an interpreter here. But by way of introduction, I, I'm not here principally as a parliamentarian. I'm here in my capacity as chair of the British Business Bank, a post that I took up almost exactly a year ago. I've dedicated much of my career in business to advancing access to finance for smaller businesses, believing passionately that this is a vital ingredient in helping smaller businesses invest, grow and achieve their ambitions. And I want to speak to you today about the UK enterprise economy and its smaller businesses, and particularly what the British Business Bank is doing for those critically important start-up and scale-up businesses that can really boost jobs, productivity and economic output. Now, a flair for entrepreneurship is something that the UK has very much in common with India. India is the third-ranked nation in the world for rates of start-up and formation of businesses. And small businesses in entrepreneurship are hugely important. The population of the UK is a mere 66 million, probably the size of one of your cities, okay, but it's 66 million. But do you know there are 5.7 million small and medium-sized enterprises in the UK, making up 99% of the business population. Or to put it another way, there are only 7,000 businesses in the UK that are not small and medium-sized enterprises. SMEs employ 60 million people. That's 60% of all private sector employment in the UK. And their combined annual turnover is £1.9 trillion, just over half of the UK private sector turnover. And almost unbelievably, even in this small country, a thousand new businesses start up every day in the UK. Well, there are a host of reasons why the UK is such a good place to start up, from world-class universities and research to strong equity finance markets that provide funding for high-growth firms. The British Business Bank is proud to be the biggest UK-based investor in UK venture capital, with over 1.3 billion committed. And our latest figures report that investment values for equity finance increased to 5.9 billion in 2017, an increase of 89% on the previous year, despite all the uncertainties you keep reading about. That makes the UK the largest venture capital market in Europe, and roughly equivalent to one third of the total European market. Now this points to significant and ongoing investor confidence in the UK, and these increases are replicated across all investment stages. The thriving ecosystem for business incubation is not just the London thing, as Baroness Verbal was talking about earlier. Just last week, I was in my hometown of Glasgow. You must visit it. The quality of the people there is average. <laughs> since, since I left. It's a great city. But I was speaking with investors and businesses and I heard firsthand of the development of a strong angel network in the city. And there are such clusters developing right across the UK, and I'm sure this is true of India as well. Cities like Bristol, Manchester, Edinburgh and Cardiff. They're often located near world-class universities where academic excellence and innovation, alongside the right funding at the right time, can provide the catalyst for successful growth. A great and particularly relevant example of business benefiting from such a cluster is the Cambridge-based Kiz Hub. Their flagship product, which is Crop Intelligence Platform, is used by some of the world's largest farming businesses, agrochemical companies and processors to improve food security around the world. And it's a great international collaboration, employing engineering and sales and customer success teams in both Cambridge in the UK and Pune in India, drawing the expertise of graduates from both our countries. I was mentioning Glasgow's a great place. I, 
I was across at the Commonwealth Games in uh, Delhi eight years ago. I chaired the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, so we were there to pick up knowledge about how to run a Commonwealth Games in, in Scotland. And I visited Bangalore, four major universities absolutely pouring out physics, maths, you know, STEM type graduates. I was seriously impressed. They recently, this company I'm talking about, raised 1.7 million from angels and venture capitalists, including investment from British business bank support and finance partners, Notion Capital and IQ Capital Partners, <coughs> two of the most respected VC houses in the UK and Europe. That, ad, that enabled them to scale up. Now later this month, the bank, British Business Bank, is going to be launching a new regional angel programme, which will further increase the availability, supply and awareness of angel and other early stage equity investments right across the UK. And we're putting boots on the ground across the country too with the launch of our new UK network, a network of regional managers which will raise awareness of financial finance options and help build local and regional financing ecosystems. The network will cover England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland with managers responding to a region's particular needs. But there's still more that can be done, especially for long-term, what we call patient capital. Last year's Patient Capital Review found a major barrier holding by continued development of young and innovative firms is access to long-term investment. The lack of that investment slows firms' growth, dampens their ambitions, and means that some firms are sold to trade buyers rather than growing to full maturity in the UK. Now, some of the key findings were that UK funds are one-third smaller than those in the US, that UK businesses have fewer funding rounds than their US counterparts and a significant economic impact could be made if the availability of patient capital was increased to the same level as the US. The government announced that the autumn awesome budget last year would allocate the British Business Bank an extra two and a half billion pounds of funding to tackle these issues and we intend to leverage that up to about 13 billion with private capital. We want our entrepreneurs to build businesses here in the UK, adding to the 20 or so unicorn businesses worth $1 billion each that the country's already produced. There'll be plenty of exciting opportunities to invest in funds supported by our programmes. So my message to you is this, the UK is already the most dynamic place in Europe to start and grow a business. These recent measures I've outlined will make it potentially even greater. Whether you're a business, or an investor, I encourage you to explore the opportunities that the UK affords for ambitious entrepreneurs, just as we will be looking to opportunities in India.